Typically, a landscape project would have a plant every 18 inches or so, and then you would put mulch there, and you would recognize immediately if there was a plant out of place. But here what we're doing is we're throwing everything at it. We're going with density. So we really try to break all the rules when it comes to conventional planting. We're not using mulch. We don't care about spacing. We want it to be as naturalistic as possible. We try really hard to not create a sense of order in the planting. If we use more native plants, then there's more relationships with the larger ecosystem. We're using them to encourage that kind of activity. Because Park Lake is about people, but it's also about this ecological function as well. And we use spontaneous plants with native plants and accept them into the mix. There are things that we control, but by and large, we're letting these other plants express themselves because they are doing well where they are. They green up early, let's say. They weed out other stuff that maybe we don't want. So they're doing a lot of really important work. And I think that there's a way to start to change perhaps what we accept as a, a native plant or a plant that's supposed to be there. This garden that you see at Park Lake in 2020 is gonna be a very different garden five years from now. One year, it'll be dominated by a particular plant because that's the thing that's sort of surviving now. But as other plants kind of push against it, other plants create different types of pressure or shade other things out. The garden will have a very different character.